If you manage Google or Microsoft ads and want fewer spreadsheets with more control, this review is for you. Adalysis positions itself as a PPC co-pilot that audits, monitors, optimizes, and automates your accounts from one place with daily checks that surface issues and opportunities automatically. We'll walk through how its performance analyzer explains what changed and why, how ad testing runs automatically across single and multiple ad groups, and how pacing plus budget automation keeps spend aligned to your goals. Timestamps are below, and if you want to test Adalysis for yourself, they offer our audience a 30-day free trial. So let's start with the safety net that keeps your account healthy every day. Audit alerts. Audit alerts and analysis give you a running to-do list without setup. The platform ships with more than 100 built-in checks that run for you and turn anything important into tasks. They're grouped by urgency, so you can see critical issues that stop ads from serving, high-priority items that deserve attention soon, and optimization ideas you can work through when you have time. As alerts fire, they build a task list so you always know what to do next. When you open the audit screen, you see an overall audit score, a full audit report you can download, your score history over time, and a log of any automations that have already acted on issues. Each alert type has its own working view, but the controls are familiar. You can snooze or disable an alert, click help to learn how it works, see when the data last refreshed, and follow recommended actions. You can filter the table, click single rows to fix one item, or bulk select and apply a change to everything at once to move fast on repetitive fixes. You stay in control of the rules. Any alerts criteria can be edited to match how you manage accounts. If the default settings for search terms to add as keywords are too loose or too strict, you can open the settings and change the thresholds so it only flags what you want to see. If you notice you keep taking the same action for the same alert, you can automate it so the platform applies that fix on your behalf the next time it triggers. There's also a central settings view where you can scan every alert at once and see whether it's active, whether you've customized it, and whether it has an automated action tied to it. From there, you can drill into any alert to review or adjust its criteria. If you need something the defaults don't cover, you can create a custom alert from scratch. You give it a name, choose how often it runs and which date range it should use, then define the logic. For example, you can watch brand ad groups and trigger when impression share drops below 75% by targeting ad groups with a brand label and setting the threshold to less than 75. The net effect is a clear, customizable workflow. Out-of-the-box alerts catch the big stuff, your edits align the checks to your strategy, and automations remove the grunt work. You get a live queue of what matters, the ability to fix issues in bulk, and full visibility into what was changed and why, so your accounts stay healthy without constant manual policing. PPC Performance Monitoring in Adalysis starts on the Performance Overview, where you see live stats for all campaigns and switch date ranges or segment by campaign type to get the right context. You can pop out charts to compare metrics over time and click any point on a graph to open a side-by-side -side comparison that loads the performance analyzer with the same scope and dates. From there, you can scan campaign breakdowns, watch daily search impression share, and flip between an account level view and individual campaigns to spot shifts that actually matter. The real power comes from monitors. You create a performance monitor by choosing the scope, how often it should run, and the exact condition you want to watch. It can be as simple as asking to be alerted if conversions drop 10% week over week with optional minimum thresholds, so you only ping on meaningful data. If you are new to this, you can start with predefined monitors, copy one, tweak the settings, and save it. When a monitor fires, it shows up in your alerts with a root cause button that launches the performance. Analyzer already filtered to the same campaigns and comparison window so you are investigating the exact situation that triggered the alert instead of rebuilding the view by hand. Inside the analyzer, you trace the change across the funnel with before the click, during the click, and post-click views to see whether the issue came from auctions, ads, or landing pages. You can expand any section, open the underlying data, and jump straight into ad group and keyword breakdowns, then sort by the metrics you care about to isolate the pockets that moved. If you need a different angle, the Segments tab lets you slice results by dimensions like hour of week or age range and visualize those patterns as charts, which makes it easy to confirm whether performance shifts are tied to a schedule or an audience segment. The day-to-day -day flow is simple. Scan the overview, drill into the analyzer for timeframe comparisons, rely on monitors to watch the account continuously, and use breakdowns and segments to zero in on where and why the change occurred. The Performance Analyzer in Adalysis lets you line up two snapshots in time and see exactly what changed and why. You start by choosing the scope you want to analyze, like all campaigns or only search or video, and you can narrow it further by picking specific campaign names or labels and deciding whether to include paused items or just enabled ones. You set the comparison window with quick picks like yesterday or last 90 days, or choose a custom range, and you can compare against the previous period, the same dates last year for a year-over-year -year view, or any custom dates. You also pick whether to look at all conversions or a specific conversion set so the results match the outcomes you care about. 
Once you run it, you get a clean visual flow of the metrics from top to bottom. It starts with search volume feeding impressions, then breaks impressions into the drivers you can control, like search impression share and its components, including lost impression share due to budget and due to rank, along with the factors that influence those. You can trace how those inputs roll into clicks and then into conversions, so you can follow the chain from cause to effect without guessing. Color cues make the scan fast. Green means an improvement and orange means a decline. Some metrics flip signs based on what's good or bad for the business. So a higher cost shows in orange even if it's a positive number, while a lower cost per conversion shows in green even though it's negative, because down is good there. If you see a change you want to unpack, you click the bullet icon next to that row, and the analyzer opens the list of items included in the view. You can sort by any metric to surface the biggest drops or gains, then drill from campaigns to ad groups and down to keywords to pinpoint the exact pockets that moved. That makes it easy to diagnose problems, apply fixes where they matter, or lean into trends that are working. When you're done, you can download the data for a report or to share with a team. In practice, it's a quick loop. Pick your scope and dates, run the side-by-side, -side, follow the dependency chain to see where the change started, drill into the levels that moved, and leave with a clear plan for what to adjust next. Bid adjustments and analysis are driven by your current bid strategy, so every suggestion lines up with how the campaign is actually bidding. You start on the keyword bid suggestion screen, where you can see and tweak the rules behind the recommendations. If you want to be more aggressive or more conservative, you change the settings, recalculate, select the affected keywords, and apply the new bids in bulk. The same approach applies to bid adjustments. The platform watches the adjustments that are compatible with your bid method, surfaces opportunities, and lets you review or override the logic before you apply anything. Once you like how the suggestions are being set, you can switch them to automation so new compatible adjustments roll out for you without manual clicks. Every change is tracked so you can see what happened and whether it helped. When you update a bid, a bid adjustment, or even the bid strategy itself, Adalysis records the date and adds a quick compare icon. One click gives you a before and after view around that change so you can judge impact without building custom reports. You also get a campaign level view of strategies in use, a list of ignored versus applied suggestions, and segment drill downs to explore the data behind each recommendation. The result is a steady loop where suggestions reflect your strategy, you can tune and bulk apply them fast, you can automate once you trust the logic, and you always have an audit trail and comparison views to keep you honest about what is and isn't moving performance. Ad testing and analysis is hands-off to set up and hands-on when you want to act. Any ad group with two or more ads automatically gets a test, so you don't have to define experiments or shuffle spreadsheets. As data accrues, the platform calculates statistical significance and flags winners and losers based on the metrics you care about. On the overview, you can see which metrics are in play, how many losers you have, and a quick what-if that estimates performance had the losers been paused over the last 30 days. From there, you can bulk pause losing ads in one move. Drilling in shows each test's date range, campaign and ad group, the creatives being compared, the confidence, and whether an ad is a clear winner, a clear loser, or simply statistically different on a given metric. You also get an impact preview that shows what would change if you pause the loser by that metric right now. Actions are in line, so you can pause, edit, or copy and edit ads without leaving the testing view, and arrows let you flip through tests quickly. Every resolved test is saved automatically, and you can manually archive snapshots to keep a clean history of what you tried and what worked you stay in control of the rules. In settings, you can change the minimum data required for a result and choose which metrics determine winners, with the option to override defaults at the campaign level. If you want the system to keep things tidy, enable auto-pause so losers are turned off as soon as they meet your preset criteria and review everything later in the archive results. Testing isn't limited to a single ad group. Multi-ad group testing lets you aggregate results across many ad groups to answer creative strategy questions, like whether a call to action in headline two beats a value proposition or how branded versus non-branded headline ones perform. You can define inclusions by campaign, target ads by text patterns or labels, and for display, you can test by image labels and sizes then read the combined outcome to guide global messaging changes. In practice, you keep at least two ads live per ad group. Watch Adalysis auto run the math, use single group tests to prune weak ads, and use multi-group tests to shape your broader creative direction, all with clear significance, quick bulk actions, and an audit trail of past experiments. Google's quality score data holds the key to better visibility and positions, and to lower CPCS. The challenge is pinpointing where to best invest your time. Combining quality scores with KPIS helps you find the biggest opportunities for improvement. Adalysis gives you a clear, practical way to see where quality score is helping or hurting and what to do next. 
It starts with an impression weighted account quality score and a weekly change so you can tell if things are moving in the right direction. You can chart history at the keyword, ad group, campaign, or account level, and you can switch the lens to weight everything by impressions, conversions, or cost to match how you judge impact. The subfactors are front and center. You can graph expected CTR, ad relevance, and landing page experience to spot where below average clusters live and compare them to areas that are above average, especially across your highest cost or best converting segments, so you know which fixes matter. To turn analysis into action, the platform ranks ad groups in a quality score priority order that blends cost with pressure from low scores. That list tells you where to work first. You can drill into any ad group's history, toggle extra fields if they're hidden, and use QS filters to study what's working. For example, pull up ad groups where ad relevance is above average, study the ad to keyword patterns, then apply those same patterns to sibling ad groups that are below average. Audit alerts back you up by flagging mixed relevance ad groups where one keyword shows above average relevance and another shows below average with enough impressions to matter. That's a sign one ad can't serve both intents. From the alert, you can open the ad group, see which keywords don't fit the ad, and move them into a better matched ad group in a couple clicks. When you spin up a new ad group, Adalysis can copy the current ads so you only make quick tweaks before you relaunch with tighter alignment. Improvement work is mapped to the three levers. Expected CTR comes from ad testing, so you can reference your ad test results and roll winning ideas into the weak ad groups to lift CTR. Ad relevance comes from organization, so you use the keyword to add comparisons to refine groupings and messages. Landing page experience comes from content and speed, so there's a landing page view that shows for each page how many keywords are above average, average, or below average. IFA page is dragging most of its impressions into below average. You'll see it and can open the related keywords to look for patterns. Decide whether to change copy, switch to a better page, or create a new one. For speed issues, links to Google's mobile and desktop page speed tests help you confirm if load time is the bottleneck. With Adalysis, you can easily watch your budget pacing or automate your budget allocation. It gives you two complementary workflows, tracking how you're pacing and automating how your money is allocated. You start with a clear pacing view that shows whether you're over, on target, or under for the month at the account level and at each campaign. If spend plans change, you can adjust pacing targets on the fly and see the impact right away. There's also a budget boost view that models what would happen if you raise budgets so you can find an allocation that fits your spend and conversion or revenue goals before you make changes. Inside an account, you can choose track to manage pacing or manage to automate budgets. In track, you set monthly targets and add alerts so you're notified when thresholds are hit, when daily pacing drifts, or when caps are reached. You can even auto-pause and auto-unpause accounts or campaigns when spend goals are met. Pacing isn't limited to the whole account. You can track by campaign type, by name patterns, or by labels to monitor different slices of activity at once. In Manage, you define the spend goal, tell the system how to allocate money across the month, and set the performance objectives such as impressions, conversions, or clicks. Adalysis shows you the proposed budget split based on that goal, lets you apply it, and then handles the day-to-day -day allocation automatically by checking actual spend against the goal and shifting budgets across the chosen campaigns. You can predefine future month spend changes and control rollover rules, so unspent or overspent amounts are handled the way you want in the next period. Automations can run at the account level or within budget groups, which makes it easy to keep separate strategies for things like awareness versus brand campaigns under different rules. If you're running short promos or working outside calendar months, you can also set non-standard timeframes, so pacing and automation match the exact window of your offer. Put together, the pacing dashboards show you where you stand, the alerts and guardrails keep you from drifting off plan, the boost modeling helps you predict returns from higher budgets, and the automations move money daily toward your stated goals. PPC Budget Automation in Adalysis is built to spend your money according to clear rules you set and then keep it on track every day. You start in the Manage view by picking a monthly spend goal and choosing how you want that money distributed across the days of the month so pacing matches the calendar and any mid-month shifts. You pick the objective you care about, like maximum impressions, maximum conversions, or minimum CPA, and the tool previews a proposed split by campaign. You can nudge those budgets up or down, see the impact, and then apply the plan when it looks right. Once the plan is in place, you flip on automated budget management. From there, the system watches actual spend against your goal and reallocates daily across the included campaign so money flows to where it best supports your objective. You can open the budget log and allocation history at any time to see what changed and why. Planning ahead is simple. You can set different budget levels for future months, and when those months begin, the system will reevaluate the included campaigns and reallocate budgets for the new goal without you rebuilding anything. Rollovers handle the real world. If you underspend or overspend, you decide whether to carry amounts into the next month, how much to roll, and whether to trigger alerts, so the next period auto-corrects rather than drifting. Automation can run at the account level or inside budget groups. 
budget groups let you bundle a set of campaigns under one shared spend and objective, including campaigns that already sit on Google's shared budgets. The key difference is control. Unlike a plain shared budget where one campaign can consume the lot, Adalysis splits funds inside the group according to your goals and each campaign's contribution, so the distribution is intentional. Custom budgets cover everything that doesn't fit a standard month. You can name a promotion, pick the campaigns or shared budgets, set start and end dates, define the amount, and stack multiple schedules in advance. You also choose what happens at the end of the window, like keeping campaigns live or pausing them, and whether to restore the old daily budgets or keep the scheduled ones. Along the way, you can check daily spend charts and budget boost projections to see if raising budgets could lift performance before you commit. In practice, the flow is decide your scope, pick the goal, preview and apply the split, enable automation, set future months and rollover rules, and let the system move money each day while you monitor the logs. The result is pacing that follows your plan, budgets that react to performance, and far fewer manual edits to keep spend aligned with targets. The PPC Campaign Builder in Adalysis is a fast way to bulk add or refresh campaigns using a CSV. You start by preparing a simple file with the columns you want, like campaign name, ad group name, keywords, headlines, descriptions, and final URLs. After you upload the file, Adalysis reads your headers, so you can map each column to what the builder needs and reuse that file structure later. You first choose the campaign. If your CSV has a campaign column, you select it and the name autofills. If not, you pick an existing campaign to populate. Next, you define ad groups. If your CSV includes ad group names, select that column and choose how the builder should treat each case. For ad groups listed in the file that do not exist yet, you can create them and set default targets like CPC or CPA. For ad groups that already exist and are listed in the file, you can add new ads and keywords into them, leave them untouched, or even pause them. For ad groups that exist in the account but are not in the CSV, you decide whether to pause them, which is helpful when you are rebuilding a campaign from scratch, or simply leave them as they are. You can preview the ad groups that will be created before moving on. You can add ads, keywords, or both. When adding ads, map your headlines and descriptions from the CSV and supply a final URL. You can treat the mapped fields as variables and wrap them with extra text, which is handy for inserting geo names or service lists around a core value from the file. You can create multiple ads per ad group and choose what to do with existing ads. You can keep them live and just add your new set or pause the old ads and replace them entirely. A preview lets you check every ad before it goes live. When adding keywords, select the keywords column and choose the match types you want. You can create exact, phrase, and broad versions of the same term in one pass and preview the full keyword list. At each step, the builder shows you what will be created or changed so you can catch mistakes early. Once everything looks right, you apply the changes and the builder pushes the new ad groups, ads, and keywords to the selected campaign structure. Reporting and analysis is built to give you clean, shareable views without rebuilding dashboards from scratch. You have three paths. Client reports use Looker Studio templates for Google Ads and Microsoft Ads that you copy into your own Looker Studio account, so you can brand and tweak them while keeping a familiar layout for clients. Team reports also live in Looker Studio, but focus on internal analysis, with high-level overviews you can drill into when you need to investigate a specific account. Audit reports are generated inside Adalysis and are the fastest way to summarize an account for clients, stakeholders, or prospects. You add your logo, pick from your list of accounts, and produce a concise health check that highlights what matters without a manual deep dive. The client and team templates give you a starting point you can adapt to your metrics, filters, and time ranges, so ongoing reporting becomes maintenance instead of a rebuild. The audit report is designed for speed and for sales conversations. Analysts can run one report and hand sales a printer-friendly page, a downloadable PDF, or a shareable link, so the team has talking points and visuals without spending hours compiling screenshots. If you are new to Looker Studio, there are walkthroughs on connecting data and customizing the templates, which makes it easy to get from zero to working reports. Adalysis is a good fit if you want deeper quality score math, structured RSA testing, and search term pattern analysis, all backed by constant audits and alerting. It brings the essentials for PPC managers into one workspace, so you spend more time making changes and less time stitching exports together. If your stack is focused on Google Ads and Microsoft Ads and you value daily diagnostics, bulk ad workflows, and clear search term insights, this platform lines up well with that way of working.